it's fine. Even for what it was before, it was fine, but I'm just like, well, let's do a little bit more experimenting. So since this is indoors, I'm going to be wearing earplugs. It's probably going to get loud. I got this, uh, you know, I'm going to put it on the dust mask just in case. I did buy this uh, dust shroud vacuum attachment. Okay, here we go. The moment of no return. Let's start grinding this and see what happens. that I can't see what angle my disc is at. When I need my disc to be like completely flat on here, that's one thing I, I'm not liking about this shroud because I can already tell that I'm dipping too far. That, that's gonna leave big gouges. So I'm like, I'm tempted to see how much dust I produce without this thing. safety tip whenever you have a tool and you're about to plug it in you never know if the trigger's stuck on or whatever it could be a skill saw could be an angle grinder if it's if it's up against your material up against the wall or if it's something you plug it in and there's a malfunction or on or you know put it somewhere just think about it because it is on you don't damage yourself or something okay round two Pretty dusty. What else can I do? Can I get a fan, open the door. I mean, a lot of it is going right out the door, but. Okay, so we can see, you know, it's a little dusty, but I got way better control doing it without that dust shard, but let's look at the first initial hit here. Um, I think it's going to end up looking pretty cool. I'm going to polish it a little bit more. You see how I'm kind of cutting into that, that aggregate. sealer can I use I mean I've got just like you know outdoor decorative concrete sealer I got some of that but I don't know if that's technically what you should use on a, on a 
countertop. Maybe somebody out there has a product that they'd like me to try out on here. Send me some, man. All right. Well, we'll get to it. Another three feet to go. Peace out. 